Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my underwater world. You guys can come with me if you like. I'm just gonna wash my hair. Showing you some decor in my bathroom that I put together. Unfortunately, I cannot play the entire concert I had in the shower washing my hair, but you will get snippets. I got y'all, I sure. got y'all. Mermaid theme items everywhere. Of course. And one of my favorite pieces is this tissue holder from Amazon. I got my shampoo and conditioner out. See, what happened was, before I set the mood, I was playing some jams. Cute pink toes. After close speculation, I cannot say it's glitter in my hair this time. A relaxing bath is a wonderful way to read. I love to use lavender buds in the evening. They help promote good sleep. Also, fresh is always better, but if you can't get fresh on demand, Amazon to the rescue. Sing your heart out, girl. The beautiful people, each. It's time for a good shampoo. <laughs> Gig. Washing my hair in the shower is cool. You it's know, cool because I can't I go don't to the salon. I wash my hair at home mostly. Minimal heat. Here, because it's about to get real. The brown bottle is my favorite scented one. Lather up real nice and scrub that scalp. I'm getting all that dandruff out today. I've been keeping my eyebrows clean with my wax machine. Every day. It feels really good when the house is clean and your hair is clean and your bed is clean. Miss Clean, that's me. Anyway, I need a trim, so that's next. I'll be happy when I learn how to successfully trim my own hair. I've honestly had plenty of opportunities to learn. I could practice and get better and watch some more YouTube videos. One clean braid because I'm gonna wrap it into a bun. Sometimes I comb it out and just let it air dry like big and curly, but I kinda want it out the way today, so bun it is. You can see the conditioner throughout my braid. I do like a lot of conditioner and oil. 95% of the time, I leave my conditioner in and this is when I put the oil in and comb through. Now I'm gonna wrap it. It's time to get cozy and get ready for bed. Lovers only game. Okay. Who is that? Baby story time. Alright, you kids get to bed. I get the story. <laughs> Long story short, they are a group of unicorns who use their powers for love. And I've seen one. Like changing the world with their love? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now all the beautiful people still watching, if you have time, I want to show you how I make zucchini bacon and how I came up with this meal using leftovers and food at home. First up is the zucchini bacon. This is not my recipe so I will include that in the description box. You're going to need a few things that you probably wouldn't have normally like date sugar, applewood smoked sea salt, or natural liquid smoke which the ingredient is natural liquid smoke. Always read your labels because other brands include unnecessary harmful ingredients. You're going to add all of your ingredients to a saucepan and cook on low until dissolved. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells amazing. Nice thick marinade. When I say perfect, oh I mean. While that is just 
perfect sit it to the side so you can chop the ends off your zucchini and start slicing it you want the slices thin but not so thin that they'll tear on you they need to be thick enough to handle getting tossed inside of your bowl with marinade and that's your next step random side note i always prefer glass bowls over plastic this was not listed in the directions but i did press them on a napkin to get some of the water out so after that you go ahead and put your marinade on because you're going to get to tossing these beautiful things i know it doesn't look like a lot but not only is it enough i had enough left over to make some more the next day if i want smells delicious more water comes from the zucchini which will also allow the marinade to loosen up marinate for like 30 to 60 minutes line out your parchment paper and lightly coat it with a little grapeseed oil you're going to bake it at 400 degrees for 10 minutes then flip it and cook for another four minutes i think it's impossible not to love this recipe it's crunchy and it's good packed with flavor so now let me show you how we made this five piece bomb meal i prepared my chickpeas from leftovers and lightly seasoned them again peppers and onions are my favorite ways to add kick to your flavor We all love onion rings, right? Well, we're gonna do some veggie rings with onions and peppers, so we need chickpea crumbs. We're gonna have a dry and wet batter. Take time to pause if you need the ingredients for both batters. You're going to dip your veggie into the wet batter first. Then you're gonna dip it into the dry batter. Repeat as needed and fry. My top three oils are grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and sesame seed oil. The bottle reads sesame oil. Remember, health is wealth. Chop your peppers and onions and remove the seeds. Then we dip, flip, and fry. Look at this colorful and beautiful human living food for my living body straight from god mother earth crunchy juicy and flavorful in my case i only had to dip mine once in each because it was kind of thick everywhere i go they have onion rings i should have been hip to veggie rings using peppers the other leftovers we used were hummus pita bread and fatouche I chopped extra veggies for another time because these go good with everything. Everything like what? Well, we can start with this bomb five piece meal we created from leftover and food ingredients around the house. Veggie rings, hummus, fried rice, fatouche, pita, roasted chickpeas. The kids loved it and so did I. We smashed before you go let me quickly show you some other things that these veggie rings pair with no animals this way yep this is mushroom getting ready to get fried for a sandwich my mushroom portobello burger same method wet and dry batter i chopped my onions and mushrooms and some butternut squash for french fries whenever i make these i chop them and I drizzle them with some oil and my seasonings so that they can marinate and have the best flavor. Then you bake or fry. Ooh, looky here. I don't know why people think vegans are starved because we be eating good, okay? Why would you need a chicken sandwich when you can have this? Eating death causes death. So you guys got to eat living foods for your living and amazing body. What's more beautiful, powerful, and amazing than you? It is not easy eating healthy in this world. That would be a lie if I said that. It's set up to eat unhealthy. But know that your family is worth the extra time and the extra effort it takes to research healthier recipes and better ideas for health, for life for energy let's get into it last but not least spaghetti everybody knows how to make spaghetti and has their own special way of course you know mine is all veggies but this is just another dish that the veggie rings pair with so good it was difficult transitioning from a standard american diet to a more healthy or alkaline diet 
but now I have those ingredients at home more often. So trying recipes is easier and more fun. It's also easier because I'm actually dedicated to this. Mind over matter. Use your beautiful ideas, guys. Trust yourself. I love you. Heartwork House is out, baby.